like it feels like kind of a letdown. Um, if I have done it, uh, I have went on a date and then it just kind of flopped. So yes, essentially maybe I was there for the food, but I went in with good intentions, you know. Okay. I actually do this. Um, oh, um, Carson, can you unmute? It's on the keyboard. Yep, there you go. Go ahead. Yeah, so I do this, but not too... <laughs> Yikes. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Um, I let all of them know my intentions beforehand. Guys enjoy spending money on me, and I'm not going to say no. Uh, everyone knows <laughs> I make money from what I do, and I make a lot. You so, make a lot yeah. from the feet stuff? Mm -hmm. Did you say how much you make? No. Oh, how much you make per year? A month. A month, sure. Up to 40K. <laughs> oh my God, that's impressive. Okay. Congratulations. Um, there's not a lot of dudes who are 19. You're 19, right? Yeah. Not a lot of men who are 19 who can make $40,000 <laughs> selling their feet picks online. But um, okay, so, but, and then in addition to that, you also go on dates. Yes. Um, so a lot of the men that I do go on dates with are fully aware of the fact that I go out with other guys. That you go out with other guys? Yeah. If they want to take me out, I let them take me out. She belongs to the streets. I, <laughs> if they want to take me out, I let them take me out. I don't do anything besides just food. I don't remember the last time I paid for my own gas or my nails or my lashes. Um, the yes. yes. Most Good of them, for you. They, they offer. I never ask. They always offer. What? <laughs> and um, I don't have to do anything with them. Don't have to sleep with them. Nothing. Um, so, but you said you're upfront with them. Yeah. So in what way, like, how would you be upfront? Like, so anytime, let, for example, Logan's asking you out on a date. Mm -hmm. How does, and how would you be upfront with him? Whenever I get asked, I usually just ask like, what are your intentions? What do you want from me? Do you just want to hook up or do you really just want to like hang out? Um, I always let them know like, Hey, I'm not going to ask you to pay for anything. I actually have an expectation that when you go on a date with a guy, that the first date, he always pays. And that's just out of respect. Okay. Um, I usually just let him know I'm not trying to sleep with you. I'm not trying to hook up. If that's what you want to do, you can find somebody else. Usually, majority of the time, they're pretty cool with it. But guys... Oh. M. Martin super chatted $50. <laughs> She belongs to the feet. <laughs> Yo, Martin, thank you, man. Oh, after we go around on this, I will get the rest of the soup chats. Thank you, guys. Get your soup chats in. Um, so, continue. I just keep it straight up. I let them know. I'm not trying to sleep with you. We can hang out. That's that. Uh, typically, I keep around four or five of them just because some of them pay for different things. Um, but that's mostly it. I let them know they're cool with it. Some of them are just really lonely. And a lot of the times, guys waste their own time because they're not straight up about what they want. So they'll lead you on until you give them what you want. And then when you never do, it's like a waste of their time, not mine. Okay, but so you're straight up with guys saying, I'm just interested in a free meal? Yeah, I let them know. You let them know? And them. guys are cool with I'm like, with are that? you going to pay? <laughs> You'll say that straight up. Yeah, I and tell them. I'm like, are you going to pay? If you're not going to pay, I'm wait, not going. Wait, can you stop? Can you stop that? Um, so you're straight up with them. Okay. And you said that there's guys that just pay for your gas too. Mm -hmm. They'll send me money, cash app, Apple Pay, Venmo. Money, nail, uh, money for nails, hair, lashes. Anytime I say I want to go. A lot of them are really good about my schedule, so they know I go every two weeks for my nails. They'll send it. Devon Jackson oh, super Devon. chatted $50. Thank you. She's up front by telling desperate men she's not going to f but being ambiguous with her words so they think they have a chance still. Yo, Devon, thank you, man. Good to see Correct. you. Hope you had a good Summarize. Super Bowl. Uh, Summarize. Word? Do you have a response to Devon there? No, it's pretty spot on. I mean... So... Would you uh, actually go ahead if you want? Actually, I let them know that I'm not interested in them if I'm not interested. I just, I can't imagine a guy willingly, after you've expressed overt disinterest, willingly being like, 
well, I guess I'll just be your pay pig. I mean, I know there's, there's those kind of guys exist. What is the age range of the men that you would say do this? 30s, 40s? 21 to 29. Well, and most of them are in the military. The oh well, here's the thing. Even if she is directly honest to those guys telling them, hey, I don't have sex with you. Well, I do want to have sex with you. It doesn't matter. Girls are always going to use guys or weak men in general, right? So if the guy's a simp, he's going to be used. It doesn't matter. So it's not the girl's fault. If guys were in this position, right, if me and Nathan came across all these girls want to go on dates and pay for us, we'd be like, hell yeah, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. If you guys can have your cake and eat it too, you guys will. And we would too, but we don't have that um, ability. So I blame mostly the weak guys, the simps, who are believing this crap and going out and still paying for these girls. Blame That's the wage I'm gap. I mean, I, I agree is, with you. I agree there, with you. There is no exist. wage gap. That doesn't exist. <laughs> there is the no men, wage gap. Most but. of the men that I do go out with are really desperate. And I mean, some of them are good looking guys. Some of them could use a little help. But they know what's up. And sometimes, most of the time, they're just lonely. They have nobody else. They have no friends. Work is boring. It sucks. They just want someone to talk to. And that's really how it's like kind of like a sugar daddy situation. <laughs> But, but you're not sugar. giving sugar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But without the sugar. Same concept, but no sugar. <laughs> okay. Um, so, and so you said almost all of your expenses are taken care of, correct? Yes. So, you s car bill? My you, car's paid off. Car, okay. But you said gas is paid for? Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Like everything? Nails. Okay. So, nails, lashes, anytime I want to get my hair colored again. Um, my gas, clothes, purses, especially purses, shoes, um, tickets for things such as like raves or clubs, things like that. Okay. Can I just have you pop your glasses off of your head? I should have asked at the beginning of the show, but yeah, put that, you can put them. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay. So the guy always pays, uh, just one question on that. So. By the, oh, hi, the Carson. Beaten Cheeks super chatted $50. Thank you, Beaten. Yo, these guys are speaking truth at a young age is legit. Brian, ask them if they want sugar and no daddy. Listen, I, I don't care about the money, okay? I'm going to speak the truth, despite what the haters say. I've been canceled. I don't really care. You guys can listen to my podcast on Spotify. Um, <laughs> Hey, wow. shameless plug. Hey, it is. Go, for it. Go for it. Though. But uh, it. yeah, I'm just really interested in helping young dudes because I think all dudes experience these things, right? We've all paid for a girl, right? We all used to simp. I used to simp. So that's why I think it's super important to uh, speak up for these young dudes who um, don't really have a voice like fucking Andrew Tate. Dude's arrested. So it is what it is. Well, I, I agree with you there. I think uh, in today's day and age where traditional values or, well, traditional gender roles have been eroded, I don't think men should any longer be adhering to their traditional gender role of having to pay for first dates. But I do want to continue with you or have honestly paying for anything at this point. Um, so these guys pay you money. Mm -hmm. They'll just like Venmo you, Cash App, like they just send you the money? Just send them a text message and they'll send it. So what, what's like an example of a text message you'll send a guy to get money from him? Um, most of the time, we'll take like my nails for example. I'll be like, hey, I need to get my nails done. I'm gonna go this time or I'm gonna go this day. And then they're like, all right, how much? Send them. And I, this is, do you send that to every single guy? No. So you'll double dip. So some guys, okay, I don't only talk to them just so they give me money. It's for specific things. So one guy pays for nails. Sometimes he'll pay for nails and lashes. Um, there's another guy that is strictly just for gas. There's another guy who is strictly just for shopping. Okay, there's a guy who's strictly for... Okay. <laughs> So, but you don't double dip at all, for example, because no. I've heard stories of girls who do this thing. Yeah, I understand and, that. Hold on. Yeah. And they will, uh, they'll have like five guys to pay them and all of those five guys will pay their rent. So she's, she's not getting rent from just one guy. She's getting five guys to pay her, her rent. 
at the so end you don't of the day, you've never double dipped no because at okay. the end of the I day mean, like so. i said i'm straight up with it and i make more than enough money if that if i was renting an apartment i could pay for it myself so you said you make forty thousand dollars a month does that include the money from these guys or is that the forty thousand no, dollar a month figure is just what you make from your uh feet pics basically just from the content okay how much do you think you're gonna make when you start your only fans i actually have no idea um, okay sure um so we just to bring it back to the thing we were reacting to uh so this girl she went on six dates a week to save on grocery bills the guys were paying for her dates your reaction to that have you ever done a foodie call as it's called um personally i haven't done one i just think it's too exhausting like i wouldn't do it for a free meal what if like the guy is like super <coughs> annoying yeah that's just okay. me yeah but have you ever gone on the first date with a guy without the intention of like maybe you're just bored and oh, you just wanted yeah. like you didn't you didn't really have a romantic interest but you just went because you were bored or whatever yeah a couple of times or you were like in the new city and you won like a tour guide or some shit yeah something okay. like that sure <laughs> what's up what you got for us uh, oh oh, oh Devon Jackson super Thank chatted fifty dollars didn't she just say I never ask then just now said she'll say what she needs. The only thing more disgusting than her are the guys that cater to her. <laughs> so much for independence. Strong and <laughs> independent. Uh, response to Davon Jackson. I literally said that I didn't ask. My response was I just tell them what I'm going to do and then they give me the money. That's that. And like I said, I'm not forcing these men to do it. It's not my fault that they don't have anything else to spend their money on except for me. Sounds like a personal problem. One question with the nails. Can you show the nails really quick? Um, like, how do you uh, wipe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually, my nails used to be a lot longer than this. Um, it's the same way as everyone oh. else. Yeah, they used to be way longer. Longer than that? Yeah, and wow. they used to be square. Shit, um, goddamn, square. I wipe the same way everyone else does. She uses her simps. Yeah. <laughs> to wipe for her? No. Cater to don't me. You, like, don't you have to like wrap the TP around your hand like this? So you like you. I mean, I... Okay, if I'm wiping, you know, then I use like baby wipes. And then okay. I just take a shower. So, I mean... You take a shower. <laughs> yeah, I take a shower after. You take a shower every time you shit. Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's keep it moving. Uh, Shania, go ahead. Um, uh, uh, By the way, you, you said you were going to make your hair more 80s poofy, but you didn't. I literally showered today. This I'm really is the disappointed. most voluminous it's going to be. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So... Uh, <laughs> By the way, Cheeks, shout out, uh, shout out to you for the, uh, we need to pull up, we'll pull up your soup chat here in a sec, Cheeks, but uh, thank you for all the support, man. Uh, really means the world that you're uh, so generous with your patronage, man. Uh, so go ahead, your reaction to the Hang lady on. with those I'm getting, six. I'm getting hair free. Oh, there okay, we there we go. <laughs> um, so the six dates a week, I mean, good for her that she was able to do that. I'm kind of on board with you where that sounds exhausting. Um, and then personally, I think that's completely fucked up to go on a date and expect them to pay for me. Um, I always bring my own cash so that I can either try to do half or even leave the tip if they insist. Um, but I think going for the intention of having them buy me something while I'm not attracted to them is pretty fucked up. Sure. Your reaction? I've never personally done a foodie call, but I think if that is the business model that she chooses to use, then that's kind of smart, right? Wouldn't you utilize like your own attributes to gain benefit, right? Well, I think it's kind of like you're, you're taking advantage of them because if, you, if you're going on a date where the other person has a genuine interest in pursuing you romantically, you're sort of misrepresenting your intentions to gain a benefit. Well, I mean, how do you know that they're actually interested in you romantically? Some people pay for your dinner so that you can suck their dick in their car afterwards. You know what I mean? <laughs> that is... You know, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, they yeah, may yeah. not have the best intentions either. Don't we all take well, advantage of one another in, like, everyday situations anyways? So, so you think men and women sleeping together is 
the man taking advantage of the woman. That's not what I said. Intention. That's not what I said. She's saying that at the end of the day, 